सानिया या मैरी असंभव क्या है दुनिया में जो नारी शक्ति कर नहीं सकती सन फैमिली गार्जियंस इंपोजिशन दैट यू कांट डू दिस यू कांट डू दैट शुड वी रियली डू दिस की दिस इज नॉट योर जॉब इट्स लाइक दे आर दे आर present in a case right. they want to fly but they couldn't fly right because of the their family pressures or the society good morning assalamu alaikum namaskar and sat sri akal today it's a great talk session with dr kusum especially she is the trainee and student of happiness institute and today we are going to discuss about one of the most important topic that is women empowerment because when it comes to women they have been deprived from max number of the opportunities they have faced sati pratha and we also know that 117 million girls are out of schools still and 750 million girls have got married before the age of 18 this is completely worst situation for the country and the world and we will discuss about many and more points you just feel comfortable relax yourself stay confident and as we know that girls have been deprived from the max number of opportunities just like that if you talk about literacy rate of the girls in india it is just 68% in terms of male that we just see that male is 89% but female is 68% F- males even is still get 20% hiked scaled salary than female and female have been deprived from the pay scale as well females are also facing the domestic violence in three female one female is facing the domestic violence and 117 countries and territories have still no proper law against domestic violence and for the protection of girls 49 countries have no proper law just for the protection and against the domestic violence so we could see this this is just you know a worst thing let's talk about women and womanization let's talk about rani lakshmi bai let's talk about let's talk about aruni vasina kiran bedi multiple people bachindri pal kalpana chawla everyone but first of all let's start this conversation and talk dr kusum please introduce yourself a very good morning sir good morning and thank you for this opportunity yes uh, okay. let me introduce myself uh, my name is dr kusum I hail from Himachal Pradesh mm. and currently I am living in Delhi itself. Okay. Uh sir so I have done my uh, PhD MPhil MSc from Himachal Pradesh mm. University. Uh sir so, uh, I aspire for uh, uh for being a teacher. Okay. I am a creative and hard working person. That is absolutely great. Uh, So you believe that you are creative you are hard working you are special you are dedicated and you have done your MSc PhD MPhil means master of science master of philosophy doctor of philosophy it's yes. quite interesting have you done all these three degrees from himachal pradesh yes sir i have done all these degrees from himachal. why this idea came into your mind to actually do MPhil and PhD you are a girl you are a lady so at this point i must thank my parents hmm. who gave me this opportunity to chase my dreams great uh, yes sir, sir but especially what we find sometimes we find uh, in villages in rural areas in uh, financially affected areas we find that parents can't afford girls education even parents if parents can afford due to the social fear and anxiety and that pressure they don't send their daughters and sisters to the schools and colleges first of all i would like to ask to you that that what thing motivated you to be educated to be literate and to be independent of your parents please let us know okay sir actually i i agree completely with you in my village also there mm. were uh, there were many girls who couldn't able to go to school mm. uh, but uh, due to my parents and it's is their will mm. they motivate me or they want their child to go to school that's why i started my schooling Okay and great. when I go uh, I went to school I get a exposure then uh, I know ki what are the possibilities around around the uh, society hmm. so uh, I want to go and avail all the opportunity hmm. and that's why sir, I get motivated step by step okay great great fantastic so you are an you are a strengthened lady 
you are an empowered lady you are a powerful lady you are educated literate lady how do you feel this time to be literate to be highly educated m phil phd msc how do you feel this time so i really feel very uh, um, very lucky and very uh, fortunate itself because i am uh, now i am able to give exposure to the younger generation of the younger uh, girls who came across my way even so i want to share that i have two daughters okay great so i have achieved uh, such higher education that i am now able to impart my education what have i have learned to my children wow and uh, as i have told you that i want to be a teacher so mm. uh, i will try my best Mm. to educate the absolutely great yes sir being a woman being a lady you are having two daughters no son when a girl takes birth in some kind of parts of our country parents you know sulk their mouth like just they make their face they sit with long face oh my god that i have got the daughter they just you know start feeling like something something dangerous has happened but you have two daughters how did you feel when you received your first daughter then second daughter how was the feeling so it, the feelings was awesome uh, and as you say that yes i agree with you that in villages mm. even i also face such comments from uh, some of the elder women in my village that mm. you should try yeah you should uh, take one more chance mm. or you should mm. uh, also wait for a mm. um, while mm. but uh, uh, i am fortunate and i believe in myself mm. uh, also that the boys and girls are equal mm. uh, and um, um uh, at this point i also uh, want to thank my husband who Uh, who supported me and who also uh, um, when the people say that uh, yeah uh, uh, he um, they told him that sunil you should have a son also but would you do in your old days so so he is uh, he is like it's okay then what is the matter my girls are my boys so wow. it's, it doesn't matter to him this is absolutely a great line ladies and gentlemen my girls are my sons my girls are my sons my daughters are my sons my girls are my boys this is a great line spoken by your husband i think it is salutable line because yesterday it was daughters day and so happy daughters day to you and happy daughters day to everybody belated happy daughters but the moment it need comes to happy mothers day we say happy mothers day we say happy daughters day happy sisters day but the point when it comes to educate strengthen empower give them independence right and just you know encourage them support them internally we somewhere lack we somewhere become selfish ki beti hai to sasural chali jayegi what do you think about it what should we do in that case yes sir so i agree to your point uh, it is actually the thinking of our society they think like that if uh, if uh, a family has a daughter so they and they think that oh, what should she do, do after education she has mm. to go mm. one day to other, other home mm. so they taken girls as that the girl is the property of others mm. so mm. it it is very unfortunate for a girl ki the place where where she born she is she is not belong to that place she and even belong, yes. and uh, and even uh, when uh, when uh, she get married Hmm. that place also not belong to that hmm. girl so it's very unfortunate but the scenario is changing now and the more independent girls and uh, i must say uh, um the most independent girls are no not dependent on on the their uh, their husband wives or hmm. even their parents house hmm. they the independent and they try to uh Mm-hmm. Uh, self um, they try to strengthen themselves or they make them independent independent sir. actually the point is that dr kusum i just you know because i have experienced as explored and observed in my life i have seen that uh, when like you know girls have been really deprived girls have been really derailed distracted because they don't have a vision 
and even they want to make when they want to make a vision when they want to make a mission when they want to make a purpose when they want to make a dream they think and the society imposes to them ki tumhe to shaadi karni hai you have to go sasural what will you do with education literacy this higher like you are phd or m phil you are msc but people even those girls are not able to complete their bsc bcom and ba just due to this society phenomena yes, so what do you think about it what the girls should think that time sir it's really very demotivating for the girls mm. uh, it's like the, it's like they are uh, they are present in a cage right. they want to fly but they couldn't fly right because of the their family pressures or the society where they live in mm-hmm. so uh, either girls have to revolt or either they have to accept whatever right. the situations are there okay. so there are the such examples most of the girls decided to accept whatever the situation mm. comes mm. Uh, and there are some girls who revolted back mm. and do phenomenal in their lives Great. so we have the we have the both type of the great um, Actually yes we have both types but especially we find that the percentage and the ratio is quite high and low because yeah. the comparison is quite high yes. because if we talk about the the girls who suppress their emotions and who just kill their dreams those numbers are quite high they can't fight against those uh, society phenomena those society impositions they can't even tackle this problem and uh, they just you know somewhere kill their dreams and they die in the cage of the house and um, and i think i just want to understand from you that what are your messages for those girls who want to do something in their lives and want to fly in the sky who are who want to say ki hum bhi zinda hain we are still alive so what is your message for them so i just want to say to all the women out there that just believe in yourself hmm. you are the unstoppable hmm. so hmm. embrace your uniqueness hmm. pursue your uh, pursue your passions hmm. never afraid to tell truth about yourself right so right once you once you um, you will get your dreams mm. so you have to fight for it you have mm. to uh, get um, you have to uh, move a step from your houses mm. and it's the time when we we should all not the be men i must say we um, whole as a society mm. we should motivate our girls uh, the women around us to mm. step out from their home and and try to achieve their goals so absolutely you are absolutely right and nowadays uh, girls and women are also being and coming ahead to just know their rights but the problem is that our country is a male dominating country yeah. right father wants to rule mother husband wants to rule wife brother wants to rule sister even brother is smaller in the age but he wants to rule his elder sister this is the male dominating society and what happens in this case actually husband has a risk if his wife is highly educated maybe she starts dominating him brother is actually at the risk and he has a kind of that fear in his mind ki if sister is becomes more educated and literate what about my career my future my property my rights so somewhere male dominating society is actually suppressing the females what do you think about it yes uh, actually it's not uh, uh, about the, to point to someone ki they right. are doing wrong okay. but i i think it's a time to change our mindset our right. thinking mm. and i'm also mother mm. so i think the uh, the starting point is our home when we start bringing up our child mm. when a boy and a girl in a, in their childhood mm. we st- we, uh, we should um, um educate them mm. uh, from the beginning the mm. that they are equal we should mm. uh, include them yeah we should uh, uh, we should tell them to do household work equally mm. and um, we should Uh, make them understand that it's not the work that uh, that define a person hmm. uh, it's it's it, um it's the requirement of uh, the, what would i say it is the requirement of the uh, situation situation yes uh, yes so who defined a person the how to work it's hmm. not like that ki uh, if i am a mother so it's my duty to look after my kids but hmm. whenever uh, if i am working and i i have to go outside then hmm. it should be the 
it it should the factor of the situation the, mm. the other family members have to understand if she is mm. going for outside for work to, so they have to come forward and look after the kids so Great. i think we have to go for change the mindset mm. of uh, our uh, in our surroundings exactly. and starting from our own houses or our Great. own homes great fantastic we could start from our home and we could teach our kids equally that if daughter is sweeping you could sweep you could sweep that it's exactly. not her duty yes sir if she is cooking you could cook you could cook right if she is cleaning you could clean because i just imagine i have just made one perception or this one thought is there in my mind and the thought is that ki people actually don't care your roti that how much it is gold and how much it is actually you know it looks so beautiful and nice just they eat they forget they eat they forget it's a day, daily task yes but the time the moment you start flying the plane you start running the institution you start running the college university company industry entrepreneurship you just make your mark you just make your name somewhere you are highlighted respected honored famed reputed uh, what do you think about it like should it be generalized that ki chalo ghar ka kaam hai so ladies should do and uh, and how much identification we could get through uh, domestic works Uh, sir i must say that it should be the choice of a person okay okay if i want to go outside if i want to pursue some my passion mm. and then uh, um, then i should go out mm. and explore it right but if uh, if i want to be be in a home and i want to care my children and look after them then it's it's then is also my choice it right. should not be forced on up, right. upon me right. that i have to do this if i am working then then also i have to look after my my children right so this mentality shouldn't be there hmm. and so uh, so now it is a various working women and uh, women mm. uh, women's also facing the situation they right. have to work outside mm. they are extraordinary mm. in their works mm. outside mm. but at the same time they have to look after their kids the uh, all the household works also so it's double a, pressure double pressures on them mm. so so is uh, i must say here that it's the responsibility of the family members who are there okay, to uh, to support that that women, mm. that be men out there that is absolutely great that is absolutely great okay now next point is coming like you know sometimes what happens that is absolutely right you said that it's our choice and i have sometimes seen the girls that who are visionless girls are visionless even mm. like kya karna hai what to do or what do you want to do nothing kuch nahi if you go Uh, to some parts of our states like up bihar jharkhand and uh, assam and village rural right by quad areas and you will be finding that they have no vision they have no mission no dream they're like nothing so what about them is is only i, I must say that, that how they bring bring up matlab right right so right it's the, only depend upon their family environment how right. they brought up right their um, i also faces some situations like that that um, in childhood mm. uh, when um, even when i am playing that the, the games for me are different and mm. for for my brothers are different mm. so the mindset it start uh, mm. start the foundation at the childhood only mm. so in the mo- most of the remote areas mm. uh, so uh, uh, girls never get the opportunity and never get the exposure to look uh, they only stay at home they mm. don't even go out mm. not even market mm. so how they get the exposure how they um, um, how to um, how to expand expand their business expand, or how right. they that's right how can they see the dreams see the dream. hey, maximum number i have just seen that people say and their guardians also say tu ladki hai tera kaam hai ghar yeah, mein rehna yeah. why will you go outside bahar kyun jaoge ya market kyun jaoge ya ye kyun karoge so there are multiple things multiple uh, society impositions and family guardians impositions that oh, you can't do this you can't do that so should we really do this ki this is not your job to do or yeah you could do it what should we say so that is the freedom actually mm. that is the freedom and uh, we should give the, this freedom to our uh, girls mm. only then they realize ki what potential they have mm. in bodies exactly so to, so 
it's a it, i i must say cuz it's a it's a duty of the parents mm. the family members mm. and uh, our teachers also right right to boost right. to boost the girl child so right. that they they dare to dream right they and, dare to dream yeah how did you dare to dream so i dare to dream only because of my parents great they supported me uh even uh, i must say that my uh, family is not uh, well to do mm. uh, i belong to a farmer family mm. uh, st- uh, my mother is working uh, and even uh, she is working in the uh, in the fields she mm. has to work all the day is still s- no no uh, uh, no, 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 no we job. all are settled and my no, brother is working so uh, uh, she was working uh, in the past still she is working still she is working okay yeah. you have failed i i am we have failed okay. we, are, we are farmers so. okay and so i saw her she hmm. struggled a lot but still she never told me not go to school she always inspired me to go to school hmm. and um whenever i uh, promoted to the next class she is the one who is very happy and wow. always so so that are the few moments which always motivated me exactly uh, right yeah the is is i must say that for uh, a women there behind a woman there must be a woman wow <laughs> to boost up and great. so behind me there is my mother always there to boost great. up to yeah, boost great. me up Great. and even my father and my whole family was just me hmm. so great fantastic behind every actually uh, we can say women there must be a women this is a great dialogue and she was your mother she was backside of you and she was giving you a boost and support and uh, she was working there right and uh, yeah that is absolutely nice and great uh, especially you belong to a village right how many sisters you were single Two, two, sisters. two sisters. Uh, both of them take took education. Both of you took education. Actually, I am the younger one, and okay. my sister is the elder. Um, so, she is the one who hmm. got the job. Oh wow! And she is the uh, first girl to got job in our village. Oh my God! That is Fantastic! The, that is the great pride for my parents. Parents as so well. So, I I must say that it is a uh, a little bit. easy for me to go out because of my sister right. because she make a way for me that is absolutely amazing that is absolutely so your sister was there that who opened the gate and the window and the track that ya kusum you may walk yes, aap chal sakti ho tum any of the any of the reputed or any of the famed personality in the girls in the women that motivated you inspired you wow so there are many i must say okay um but i want to uh, recall here that malala yusuf jai malala yusuf jai yeah. great yes i yeah. know when i uh, read her story she is only 16 year she was yes yes when she shot at by some right, militant right so right 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 what was her fault right she only want to mm, she wanted to study study educate, yes uh, yes sir right so i like her the fearless advocacy when mm. she, uh, she fight for her education mm. Mm. and um, and the uh, sir when a girl strike back mm. revolted mm. then the i must say the world accept it and encourage her right so right she even get the nobel peace prize right. so her story really inspired me great fantastic her story even inspired me too because i got completely goosebumps like wow she was the girl that proved that yes i would not stop i would not give up Yeah. right even after getting shot three bullets and this was quite amazing and now let's come to one two more questions and these questions are related to what a girl should be like somewhere this when it comes to choosing the career right so girls choose ki okay let's be a teacher let's be a doctor right and but they can't be some out of the box careers right as uh, they can't be the pilot they don't have the dream they can't go to the army defense they can't st- do some startups like they can't be a business ladies so what do you want to say about this how to just get rid of this myth ki girls also yes so i must say that the birth of a woman hmm. should not be analyzed by the social standards right it it is uh, it is only Uh, by uh, it's only depended on her own ambitions and aspiration what she wants to do in her life right so, so uh 
yeah most of the women uh, women uh, like to be a teacher hmm. i must say it's not because they uh, don't um, uh, they can't do other jobs and other jobs hmm. right sir but actually uh, it may be their choice hmm. and and uh, at present scenario i must uh, say uh, this is that the women are in every field they right. are even trying to the army they are pilot right so to there there is uh, there um, there is no there is uh, not a field yeah right they right. are uh, they are daring in every fields right so, exactly yes, okay sir. the last question how do you want to see your both daughters so uh so frankly i don't want to impose my dreams on my daughters right i want them to be whatever they want to do in their life i just want to be a support for them great so i i like uh, i like a, a wall behind them Keep, great go out whatever you want to do you do chase your dreams i am there with you and i always be there for them fantastic fantastic it is ladies and gentlemen these were great beautiful inspiring motivating words and sentences spoken by dr krishnam she is really improving her a lot in the terms of communication conversation and public speaking right how do you feel now today so much relaxed but uh... But I still there is fear, hesitation. Hesitation. Dil dhadak raha hai. Right. Right. And heart mein thoda sa. So I'm watching you and I'm just looking at you because that uh, how beautifully you articulate your words. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just inspired by you, sir. Thank you so yeah. much. So. And you are also going to do the same thing, right? Within a very short period of time, like we will conduct some these kind of sessions more and more, and mm -hmm. so that we could just adapt ourselves in any kind of situation, right? And sir, um, I promise you, I will do my best. Best yes, yes. May God day. bless you, and you are going to do best, and you are going to prove that womanization and uh, that womania, right? You are the powerful lady, and you are going to be the symbol of inspiration for the ladies and girls. I will try right. my best, sir. Oh, that's great! Yes. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, and you also stay motivated and start educating your daughters and sisters because आंखें खोला तो माँ को देखा माँ भी एक औरत थी. बहन भी एक लड़की थी बीवी भी जो हमेशा साथ देती है वो एक लड़की होती है और साथ साथ में कभी हमारे टीचर के रूप में स्टूडेंट के रूप में बहन के रूप में दोस्त के रूप में लड़कियां मिलती हैं लड़कियों की इज्जत करिए रिस्पेक्ट गर्ल्स एजुकेट गर्ल्स इंकरेज गर्ल्स सपोर्ट गर्ल्स अप्रिसिएट गर्ल्स एंड ऑल्सो एम्पावर गर्ल्स एंड इट्स कॉल वीमन एम्पावरमेंट थैंक यू सो मच प्लीज एक शेयर बोलना चाहती हूँ प्लीज मीरा की अमर भक्ति जहर से मर नहीं सकती मीरा की अमर भक्ति जहर से मर नहीं सकती झांसी वाली रानी है किसी से डर नहीं सकती माँ मदर टेरेसा सानिया या मैरी असंभव क्या है दुनिया में जो नारी शक्ति कर नहीं सकती वाह जो नारी शक्ति कर नहीं सकती नारी शक्ति कुछ डू एवरी सब कुछ कर सकती है तो आप भी सब कुछ कर सकते कर सकते हैं थैंक यू सो मच मे गॉड ब्लेस थैंक यू